ODOT has been operating traffic signals by computer for a while now, but with some new software advances, the computers are taking more control over intersections and, as a consequence, offering more flexibility for motorists. Some of the options are as great as the signal now can make decisions on uh, how much green time it should give an intersection. It will actually monitor uh, the detectors and say, oop, I need to add or reduce time uh, from the side streets from the main line. Uh, it also has a, a lot better reporting structure on where, where it, what it's doing. Uh, it gives me a lot more information about uh, the efficiency of the intersection. The first signal on a state highway to get this treatment is at US 20 or Greenwood Avenue in Bend and Purcell Boulevard. It's a popular intersection for pedestrians, and now you can see how they get the go-ahead to walk, but the right turn arrow stays red, giving the pedestrian the right-of-way to cross the highway. For example, here, the signal's telling me right now there's a pedestrian that has pushed phase eight, which is uh, going north-south across the intersection. And it will serve the walk. You'll see the, the walk come up here in a little bit, and then it'll go to flashing don't walk. In the past, the older versions of software, for example, wouldn't show any of these indications. And those are cars lined up waiting to get in. Right. And these are actually showing me, or even pedestrian, uh -huh. um, is showing me every time one of the detections out in the field was actuated, including the pedestrian buttons. And here we have the walk. And there's seven seconds of walk. And I think there's 18 seconds of flashing don't walk there. And innovations in video are giving computers a chance to see what's going on within intersections and adjust accordingly. This is what we see through the video camera at locations where we have communications set up. We don't have communications to every video camera out there, but this is about as clear a picture as we can get through there. And you'll notice instead of loops in a road, vehicles actually, they are actuating the signal. They're telling the signal, I have a vehicle here by these loops that we actually draw on the so, screen. So when I see the white instead of the black there, it means that the system it's, recognizes there's a vehicle in that path. It's actually detected the vehicle, and they look like little envelopes because they're directional. If a car goes the wrong way through here, it won't detect that. But for example, this car actuated that, and then when they come up here and stop, that's telling the signal, I need to go green for this leg. Now all these changes don't take the human element out of the equation because it is the human who has to orchestrate how the computers play the flow of traffic. I can tell the signal you can change the percentages of greens that the different legs are getting but you have to stay in 60 seconds. I also have the ability to say you can change that 60 seconds but you can only go up to 90 seconds and then the percentages of green at each leg has to be within these parameters. So there's a lot of parameters, there's a lot of programming inside of there that you have to do. This computer-generated symphony of signals is already underway with more to follow on a Central Oregon Highway near you.